Hello everyone, my name is Ajay and in this video we will see how we can configure SMTP settings on our Worksuit application. So for that we will first log in as super admin to our Worksuit application and then we will jump to settings and then from settings we will go to notification settings. So here are all the information that we need to enter. So it's asking for host port encryption username and password and from where we will generate this we will get all these from the SMTP provider. There are multiple SMTP providers available in the market like Gmail, uh, Mailgun, SMTP to go, SMTP.com and multiples. So you can uh, go with any of the provider and register your account and generate the SMTP login details, SMTP details. So let me uh, give you an example how we do that. I am choosing SMTP to do two dot two go dot com and let me log into that. So here is the dashboard of SMTP to go dot com. Let me reload it. Yeah. So it's saying before you can send email, you need to add verified sender. So let's go to sendings and here we need to create two things. First is SMTP user. The second is verified sender. So let's create the SMTP user first. We can now create the verified senders later. Continue. And from here, you can see there is an ads SMTP user. Let me add it. J at Brighton.com. And also let me copy the username and paste here. And also the password, which is this one. And paste it. And let me create add SMTP user. So SMTP details are created. The next step it's asking for mail host port encryption. So let me copy the host. The host is this one. Copy it and paste it. Mail port. This SMTP provider supports all the ports. So let me keep it as such. 465 on this and let me click save and let me try the send email test email it's it at gmail.com this is my personal email let's wait for a few seconds so the emails is sent and if we are getting any error it will be thrown here so as you can see we are getting some error the error clearly says expected response configuration and on the settings page on the sending verified sender page 550 what does that mean that means our application is trying to send email the from email is this and the we have not entered any verified email also so let me first copy this and paste here and see if we are getting the same error again or not Let's try again and look for the error. So again, we are getting the error. So this simply means we will go to the SMTP to go to go.com and here you can see verified senders. Click on verified senders and add a sender. Add a sender. I will choose add a single sender email and it's here Troydon.com send verification email it will verify this personal email so it's saying unverified let's jump to my email and let me verify it so we got the email it's here and let me verify it so the email is now verified let's reload it and see if it's showing verified or not so it was single sender email so it's showing verified let's again jump back to notification send and click on send so now the email is sent let's check on my email if we received any email or not this one is the old email let's wait for the new email so the new email is arrived you can see confirm email and 
here is the content so the email so our SMTP configuration is complete here let me show you the another another SMTP provider and that is going to be uh, Gmail so for Gmail you need to use in app password so let me go to the Gmail and here I have started Google in app password and here is the link I have let me click on it so you will be redirected to this page Just let me enter the name of the app the name of the app will be worksuit test and the password is this one in a password so here i will enter one create the gmail username and the password is this one and also the mail host what is the mail host for the uh, gmail the gmail mail host is smtp.gmail.com let me search on google gmail smtp settings so dot so it's smtp.gmail.com which is correct and the port is correct let me click on save so everything is good now let's try the test email again and this time I will be using the another other email of mine which is ajay at ferdon.com and see if we are getting the email or not so mail is sent from here let me open my email client and wait, let me wait for a few minutes or seconds yeah so we received the test email using the gmail also so everything is good now so now we have i have configured smtp using both smtp2go.com and also gmail so let me explain you few more things here so we here we have enable email queue what does that mean it cl clearly says that if you want the emails to reach uh, without blocking the application the email uh, sends in the background then you you will use email queue as yes but for that your cron job needs to be running if your cron job is not running the email won't be sent uh, so keep this yes if your cron job is running and then in the bottom you have email verified this option is only available on worksuit sas or may be available or not on other application so this application what it does is if you have selected yes by default you need to select yes because if, if any company sends email to their clients the email is sent from the super admin panel and not from your account if you select no the email will be sent from your account to your customers but this might not work because it's not a good approach or rather it's not uh, allowed to send emails from your email so it might jump to spam or even the emails might fail so you so it's good you choose yes here and email queue depending on phone job is running or not yeah so always keep email verified as yes so if you still have any queries you can comment down and our team will respond to that thank you